So you're looking at getting an indie hat, but don't know exactly where to go. So I've compiled a little list, and here's a rundown on some of the most popular hatters. This list is in no particular order, but I did figure that it was only wise to start off with the two hat makers that made the actual screen use hats for the films. Herbert Johnson is now returned to glory under the direction of master hatter Michelle Poyer Sleeman. Herbert Johnson made the hats for Raiders of the Lost Ark, Temple of Doom, and The Last Crusade. And now, the Dial of Destiny. They make hats in Rabbit and Beaver and can do any scene from any movie that you wish. Up next is Adventure Built Hat Company. The hat makers for the uh, Kingdom of the Crystal Skull hats. Scroll down and you can find a link to Penman Hats. Scroll down to the Adventure Built Legacy Collection. He has rabbit and beaver and Portuguese beaver options. Someone who's really made a name for himself is Brian Lalonde at Screencapped. A lot of people really love his products and he can do any hat from any scene from any movie. Facebook page, you can see some of his offerings there. I've long been an admirer of Brian's work. He does wonderful work. He makes rabbit and beaver felt hats. And Brian can make uh, any hat from any scene in any movie, just ask him. Next on our list, here we have Tognarelli Vintage Fedoras from Andrea Tognarelli. He has rabbit and beaver options. See there, he does an Indy 5 hat. Got some with some weathering there. A lot of people very happy with Andrea's work. Up next is Broken Skull Hat Company, of which I'm wearing one of his products right here. I asked him if he'd make me a green indie hat. It's made by hand. This is a beaver hat. He also makes them in rabbit felt. Here we have on Instagram, Broken Skull Hat Company from Kirk Brackman. Show you some of his offerings that he's made for folks. That one in the center there, that's my hat, next to his hat with the glass of Guinness and the lighter. Kirk has wonderful customer service and a great style. I wear my hat all the time. Next on the list, Still & Jones is also another very popular company. Started in 2008. We're gonna focus on hats today. The Explorador 36, that is um, from the year 1936 when Raiders of the Lost Ark takes place. The 35 is a Temple of Doom model, which is when that movie takes place. And the 38, is the Last Crusade model, which is when that movie takes place. The 57 is a Crystal Skull model. And their hats are custom made for every client. They are custom made to fit you. Coming up next. All right, here we have Advantage Hats from Thomas. He has the Harrison Fedora, which is a factory made hat that he finishes up by hand. And he also has 100% handmade hats that he offers. Just go here and click the menu there. Go to shop. And you can click there for the English version. There's the Harrison Fedora hat. And the Harrison is a 100% rabbit felt hat. Looks like he's currently sold out. 
It's hard for him to keep them in stock. People want them so often. And he can make any style from any movie that you choose. Pick a scene, let him know, and he'll make it for you. Next on our list, another hatter with a wonderful reputation is Mike Miller at the Northwest Hat Company. His menu's up top here, and you go to custom hats, custom hat gallery. You saw there that he has many different felt colors. He's got dress hats. Western hats. And movie hats. Of which he has a Raiders version. There you can pause that there and see all of the, the dimensions. Northwest Hat Company. Next on our list is one of the most popular choices for an Indiana Jones hat. That's the Akubra Federation 4. Here I'm wearing a deluxe model. Comes from the Hattery in Katuba, Australia. Their website is Hats Direct. They have wonderful customer service. And it's a rabbit fell hat and it can sure take a beating. They have wonderful customer service. And there's the Akubra Federation 4. And there's the Federation 4 Deluxe. And it comes open crowned. You shape it. They offer different colors. They do also offer hat shaping service. For the hat if you'd rather do it have them if you would rather have them do it and not do it yourself let's go to the deluxe so a little bit different colors for the um instead of tawny phone for the um heritage collection they have heritage phone very popular indiana jones hat up next <clears throat> Here we have Miller hats, which has been around for quite a long time. They have many different style hats. Based out of Texas. Click on their menu. And to get to the Indy hats, you go to Fedora hats. Let's go to Indy Fedoras and see what happens. They have an adventurer. An arc. Yeah. The Miller Open Crown Indy hat. It's an open crown hat that you shape yourself. Then they also do that same hat, I believe, with a center dent. Tight pinch. Then they have a Harrison 2. A Harrison and a Harrison 2. And I don't know if it's the same Harrison that Thomas from Advantage offers or not. But they also have a Harrison. I'll select it and see. It's a premium hair rabbit blend. And you can see the brim dimensions. You can actually choose how you want your brim, what dimensions you want your brim. You can pick your colors, coffee, gray, and black. Comes with a leather sweatband. $200. And it's in stock. Well, I really hope that this has helped you out uh, if you're looking for an indie hat or any kind of hat, really. So happy hunting out there. Um, we'll probably look at some more hatters. There's just not enough uh, time to fill in one video. There's just not enough time for one video. <laughs> There's too many hatters for one video. So I'll probably do a, uh, another video on hatters. All right, well, I hope y'all having a wonderful day. Y'all have a great week and God bless.